Earth, what are you looking at? Oh, hey, Moon. I'm looking at this tiny shadow on my surface that Venus is making from the sun's light. I often ask myself, what can cause these kinds of shadows? I know that you and Moon cast shadows off of each other, so therefore, that's a natural phenomenon for you, Earth. You must be referring to an eclipse. If you were a human that lived somewhere on Earth, you have to be in the perfect location to witness one of the two eclipses which could occur either at day or night. Since you are the smartest planet we know, tell us what an eclipse is. Okay, an eclipse is when a celestial body casts a shadow over another celestial body's surface, only if there's any light around. In this case, this applies to you and the moon, or any other body around our solar system. For example, this picture of an eclipse of Phobos in front of the sun taken by the Perseverance rover on Mars. There are two different types of eclipses, solar and lunar. I figured there would be two. So, a solar eclipse is when the moon casts a shadow over the Earth's surface. And shadows are divided into two things, umbra and penumbra. Umbra and what now? What's that? Okay, listen. The umbra is the shadow where light is completely blocked, a total solar eclipse. The penumbra is the shadow where light is partially blocked, a partial solar eclipse. However, in some cases, if the moon is somewhere at its apogee location, there's something called antumbra, where the shadow extends beyond the umbra, an annular solar eclipse. To give in some detail, here's a few images of what they all look like. Oh. Y'all should understand where this is going now. When will the next solar eclipse happen? An annular solar eclipse on October 14th, 2023, the humans said. So, what about an annular eclipse? Would Earth cast a shadow on the moon's surface? Correct. Umbra and penumbra will also apply to this as well. Total lunar eclipse, partial lunar eclipse, and penumbral lunar eclipse. But, here's the twist. In a total lunar eclipse, instead of the moon turning black, you're turning red. Wait, what? I don't get it. I know why that happens. What? How? The sunlight passes through my atmosphere. This is called Rayleigh scattering. And that refers to the scattering of light off of the molecules of the air, and can be extended to scattering from particles up to about a tenth of the wavelength of light. Oh, now this makes sense sense to say the least, Venus. <laughs> well, I'm off to talk to Neptune. See you guys. Thanks, Saturn. See you next time. Bye, Saturn.